so I'm back with another 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe. If you've missed this whole like video series that I've been doing, I will link the first one that I ever did up there in the corner for you, which explains the concept a little bit more and lets you a bit more in on the process of like how I come to find these 10 items and how I work them into 10 outfits. The title is pretty self-explanatory, you know, but I thought I would do a cold weather winter edition. I know like winter is coming. We are not there just yet, we're, we're on the periphery. But I thought it would be a good one to do um, just to give you some inspiration for the months ahead and also to try and prove to myself that you don't have to wear head to toe black constantly. There's a bit of pattern in here. There is a, this is a summer dress, like a silky summer dress. Um, I've come up with some outfits that I really, really love and I will definitely be wearing over the next couple of months. Um, so I highly encourage you to do the same with your wardrobe. It's brilliant just to like flex that creativity muscle and to find new ways to wear old items that maybe you're a bit out of love with. You just need to like go all heart eye emoji over it again, you know? Uh, so anyway, let's talk about the 10 items and then I will show you the 10 outfits afterwards. Let's start off with shoes. For this 10 by 10, I did two pairs of shoes. The first pair are these from Ganny. These are just the Ganny, I can't remember what the official name is, but they're like a mock croc boot. I got these back as part of my spring capsule wardrobe haul earlier in the year, and they are so fun. They're like a cowboy boot style. They're kind of wild. They're this patent leather, which I don't normally wear, nor particularly like, uh, but I just love the style of these. Um, they go really nicely if you've got a bit of ankle going on. They actually come up quite high on the ankle, which is brilliant for winter, like it's actually gonna keep you nice and warm. And um, they are quite high, so they're definitely not a like doing 15,000 steps city break kind of shoe, but they're perfect for like day to day. Then I have this pair from And The Stories. I have a feeling I got these last winter. Um, I was gifted this pair. They're absolutely brilliant. I've never owned a pair like this before. They're very like Doc Martin sort of chunky boot style. They've got like a little fluffy inner, which is brilliant for the winter. And they're just a nice, like everyday kind of casual boot. They really help to like ground any outfit firmly down into like the casual sector. So it's nice to have more of a dressier boot and then also more of a casual boot as your options, I think. This time around, I've gone for just one coat, um, mainly because it's my favorite coat. I love it so much. Actually, no, I love the whistles, uh, the leopard print fluffy coat. That is like my favorite, but this is definitely my second favorite and is just the most like versatile out of any coat that I own. I've had this since I lived in London, have I? I don't know, it must be like three years I've had this for. It's from Whistles, it's just a black, plain pea coat. Um, it fits like a glove. Whenever I put this on, I feel so darn chic. And because it is black, it's a very simple style. It goes with every single outfit that I've got here. Obviously, if you went to 10 by 10, you could do two jackets, because that's what people are gonna see. That's kind of what you're going to be wearing, um, but I just love this one so much. I was like, let's just, let's just stick with the one this time. <laughs> I've gone for one cardigan. Um, I really like this colour. I think that's sort of why I ended up adding another cardigan into the mix. You can see there's another little brown number going on here. This is from Anne of the Stories and I think was gifted either at the beginning of the year or late last year. And it's the only cardigan I currently own. I really enjoy wearing it. Again, it's such a versatile piece because you can just throw it over practically anything. It gives that extra layer of fluff and insulation, which is brilliant. It does keep you nice and warm and it's like a long style as well. So on days when maybe you don't need a coat, maybe you're just like running in between the car where you're not gonna be outside for that long perhaps. And this is brilliant to like put over your outfit just to give yourself another little layer. You can sort of wear it as a jacket a little bit on those slightly warmer days. Because this is a winter 10 by 10, I've really gone all out on the sort of jumper front and I picked three. Uh, the first one is this one from a brand called Demi Lee. Uh, there are like Amber Stories dupes, Mango dupes, I'll link some down below for you. I picked this up when I was in New York two years ago, video up there of the hall. I remember filming it with Lily on our hotel room floor. And I remember this being like, a bit of a purchase, like not an impulse purchase, but it was quite expensive and I was just like, you know what, I love this, I feel like I'm gonna wear it a ton, and I truly, truly have. Whenever I wear this, you guys ask me where it's from. It's bloody brilliant. I love it because it's slightly more cropped than my other jumpers, and this large hem at the bottom can sort of be tucked under. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, these jeans are too tight to be doing that. 
but it means you can tuck up that hem and wear it as more of a cropped jumper so it works really well if there's a bit of a skirt situation going on or you want to sort of not have to tuck a huge amount of your jumper into your jeans like I have today which I'm sure makes me look like I'm expecting. And then this is from Norse Projects. I think this is their Aja jumper. I um, picked this up when we were in Copenhagen last year. It's fluffy, it's warm, I adore this colour. I think if you're like a deep brunette like I am, I always think like this is just a good combination. Like, oh yeah, with the gold earring. Like, this I feel just suits my complexion really well, this like chestnutty orangey brown um, and again goes really nicely with the like bottom half options that we've got here and then I thought to mix it up a little bit because we've kind of got really chunky, really fluffy, I thought I'd go with a turtleneck, this is a roll neck turtleneck from And Other Stories, just plain black wool, it is kind of see through, can you see that there? Um, but it, because it's wool it actually is quite warm and like thermal like almost um, and again it goes with everything I really love having this in my wardrobe to layer I love it as more of like a dressy piece because it is so skin tight um, I find myself wearing this a lot on like evenings out on nice dinners tucked into jeans nice boots Bob's your uncle you're good to go the slightly odd off-piece choice here is probably this from Realization Par, this is the Iggy uh, polka dot silk slip dress. Um, yeah, it's uh, pretty thin. You can probably see me through that. I really wanted to keep this as part of like, my autumn going into winter capture wardrobe because I want to prove that it's something that you can wear all year round. Um, obviously, I'm not going to wear it just, you know, like this, but it can be layered. I love the idea of wearing it as a skirt. I really don't have many skirts in my wardrobe, so I really wanted to hold on to this just so I had more like bottom half options and I just love the print on this like you can see there's a, there's a bit of print going on with this 10 by 10 like I'm getting there I went for two pairs of jeans you can see them here these ones are from Kate these are the wide leg these are just like a cream jean cream denim um, I love that they are quite wide leg compared to other things that I wear it just again makes them a little bit different adds like a tiny bit of detail and like jazzing up in my very non jazzy wardrobe I also love the button on these it's like a black button with like a brass outline like oh swoon and then I've got the really darn high rise stovepipe jeans in mid blue aka my second skin and what I practically wear every day um of course like a black denim jean is like a very obvious thing to have in this type of wardrobe and it would work with all of these things but I really wanted to give some options that weren't just like black head to toe because basically I wear that all the time and all of these things I've picked go really nicely with these jeans. So those are my 10 items, there are a couple of additional things I will be adding in just to like take things to the next level. Obviously I've got like earrings, necklaces, you could throw on a red lip, like how you do your hair, if you have it down, if you put it like back in like a low pony or a low bun, that's gonna like switch up the appearance of things. I've also got a pair of tights to be wearing with the Realization Par silk dress. These are from Heist Studios, they are really nice, they're extremely comfortable. And then I've got two bags, they're both low FA, this one you've seen a million times before, this is the small puzzle bag in Midnight Navy. I actually think they have, I swear I've seen this colourway in stock somewhere, it might be matches, if so I will link it down below for you. The gold detailing, it's, it's perfection, I wear it all the time. <laughs> You know that. And then this one, which is a newer purchase, again from Loewe Bay, I picked this up from Bestier Collective. It's pre-loved, secondhand, and honestly in perfect condition. If you told me this was new, I'd be like, yeah, sure, it's new. Um, I picked up as a little like 30th birthday present to me, from me. It's the Barcelona bag, it's a limited edition print that they came out with a couple of years ago. And it's leopard print, and it's absolutely fabulous. And for these more plainer outfits I'll be wearing, I feel like this is a nice way to add a bit of, you know, something, something. And I just love it, and I just want to wear it all the time. <laughs> so, those are the 10 items and the accessories that I'll be using to, like, take those outfits to the next level. And here are the 10 outfits I've created with them. So this is outfit number one, and I've got the Realization Par Iggy polka dot dress on top of the And Other Stories turtleneck at the top, so it's keeping me nice and warm and covered. I've got my Whistles coat on, I've got the Ganny boots on, and then I've just got the plain 
low are they with this? Because uh, I feel like the polka dots are the star of the show here. I don't want them to have to compete with my leopard print bag. Um, but I really like this outfit. I think this would be more of like a work appropriate outfit if you wanted a way of wearing your more like summery skin showing dresses to the office and a way of working them into your winter capsule wardrobe. I think this could work really well. Or actually, I'll tell you what, I'll take the coat off so you can see what it looks like underneath. It's simple, it's classic, and because the end of the story's top is so thin, you could literally wear it under anything. Such a good piece to have in your wardrobe. I wear it all the time. I feel chic as hell in outfit number two. It is the Demi Lee jumper. Um, it's just a really glorious, oversized fit, and I love the pattern of the thread on it. I just think it's such a beautiful piece. And yeah, the balloon sleeve, it's lovely. Um, so I've got it with the wide leg jeans and um, I also have these jeans in black so this outfit could have worked perfectly well with those as well but I've got the Gani boots on the Loewe Barcelona bag and um yeah this is just a very it's a very standard outfit for me I feel like I wear this sort of outfit quite a lot and I would wear this in transitional seasons as well with like a sandal I think that would look really gorgeous um but yeah now it's colder like this with a vest up underneath in case you get a little bit hot at your destination is perfect. Outfit number three is very like, hello, don't mind me, I'm just popping to the shops, it's the weekend, I'm going to brunch with my mates. Very casual, very comfortable, and um, I feel like whenever you pair these boots with an outfit, it's always gonna like dress them down. Um, but let me tell you, I really was worried about these boots. I thought I'd be extremely uncomfortable and they barely took any breaking in at all. And now they are like, wearing slippers which is great and also they've got loads of grip on the bottom and because I'm a grandma who always worries about falling I like that perfect for the winter months so I've just got them on with the redone jeans the north projects uh, the caramel jumper the whistles coat the lower they bag um, I quite like the idea of wearing the more dressy bag out of the two with the kind of less formal shoe I think that's a nice little contrast there um, but yeah I would wear this outfit all the time Monday to Friday yay outfit number four is actually very very similar to outfit number two it wasn't until I was looking through this list and I was like oh no this is the next outfit to try on surely I've got this wrong this is kind of the same um so let's call this like a nine and a half times ten outfit <laughs> video uh like ten outfits make nine and a half outfits but I've just popped on the whistles pea coat over the top and um, that's another thing I love about this jumper which is really annoying to keep going on about it because I don't think it's available anymore is that it's chunky but it can also fit under a coat without making you feel like the Michelin man that's what you want in life that's what you want out of a chunky jumper and this time around I've just paired it with the Loewe navy bag again a very classic outfit and one that I would get a load of wear out of in fact I'm going to take a quick little snap just so I can reference this later on at a later date so this is outfit number five and this is one of my favorites I love like the kind of brown like rusty caramel tones on caramel tones and then breaking it up with this nice like soft cream instead of like a hard white I just think this outfit works really well would obviously go really well with the whistles coat over the top um so it's the Norse Projects fluffiest jumper ever when I put this on I was just like oh I love this jumper so much the Loewe uh, the leopard print bag and then I've got the Gani boots on with the Kate jeans and yeah I adore the fact you've got this like rusty brown here then you've got more of like the yellowy caramel here and then for the shoes you've got this nice like really deep chestnut brown I love this love 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 this outfit I feel like outfit number six is kind of one of the furthest ones that's out of my comfort zone like the idea of wearing this skirt with like my big chunky winter boots isn't something that I would usually do um, but then I always see people on Instagram doing it and it looks really cool so I was like you know what I'm gonna give it a go and I like it it's a nice way of making the Iggy dress into a skirt which is great I've just popped the Demi Lee jumper over the top of it I think that works really well you can see what I was saying about that hem it tucks up into a nice little cropped number and therefore like shows off your waist um, which is really like flattering um, and yeah I feel like the boots sort of dress the whole thing down I feel like you could wear this look with really high boots and it would be more of like a going out outfit but this is definitely something a bit more casual um, so yeah I'm kind of into this I'm glad that I like gave it a go so outfit number seven is definitely more of a dressier outfit for me in fact I'm pretty sure I wore this out for like Japanese fusion food once obviously minus the bag which is a new addition but 
for me, this is my favorite type of outfit. Like, it's got black, it's got cream, it's got a statement, like, funky boot, and then a bit of leopard print. Like, what is not to love about this outfit? I'll tell you what's not to love. I really need to, um, like, iron the zip down on these trousers, because it always makes me look like I'm uh, exposing myself <laughs> somewhat. But like I mentioned, I just adore the detail on these. Really lovely and stretchy as well, so very, very, very comfortable to wear. For outfit number eight, I'm taking that dress and I'm making it even more casual. So this time round, I've still got the And Other Stories roll neck on underneath. I've got the winter boots from last time, so kind of combining those two outfits that I've worn before of this. And then I just added on the And Other Stories. This is so chunky. It's, oh my gosh, it's just the like fluffiest, most comfortable cardigan. I absolutely adore it. Um, I wear this an absolute ton just like around the house. It's such a good thing if you work from home and you just want to like, you don't want to wear a dressing gown, but you also kind of want to wear a dressing gown. This is perfect and actually such a comfortable outfit to like work from home in um, and your boots yeah perfect for like walking around all day too. Outfit number nine is one of my favorites and one that I have worn many many times before so again I've got the cardigan on but this time around I've paired it with the redone jeans on the bottom um, I've got the and other stories turtleneck still on the top I've got my Ganny boots this time around the Loewe bag um, and this is something I would wear I don't know you pop them around your parents you're going around for some food. Like I'm always going around my parents for food. <laughs> um, I feel like this is a good outfit to wear where you like look put together. They're not going to be like worried about you, but it's also very comfortable. It's not too dressy, not too casual. Maybe one for like dress down day on at work on a Friday where you still want to look a little bit polished and put together. Yeah, I adore this one. Like I wear this outfit all the darn time. So outfit number 10 is this, and I feel like we're finishing it off with an absolute classic. Again, something that I have definitely worn before. Um, I've got the end of the stories winter boots with the redone jeans. This time around I've got the Demi Lee jumper on underneath. Um, it's quite similar to outfit number three actually but I just changed around the bag. So this time around I've got the Loewe and I changed around the jumper. Um, but yeah just another way of wearing a very casual like popping out for nothing too fancy outfit. Really warm, really toasty and um, yeah, just something that I, do I finish all of these off by saying just something I would wear <laughs> all the time? But genuinely something I would wear all the time. <laughs> so that is it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I love putting these together. I love like flexing that outfit muscle. Let me know if you give this a go at home, like tag me on Instagram, drop a comment down below. Also, what theme would you like to see next? If there's something that you would like to see, then let me know. Um, recently over the summer, I did like a, event outfit like wedding guest outfit one maybe i could do or maybe i could do like a christmas new year's out all oh, like dressy formal for winter occasions let me know if that is something that you would like to see all of these items will be linked down below for you with dupes for the pricier bits as always and i'll see you soon for a brand new video thanks for watching bye